At this point, everybody's made videos about why they switched from Unity to Godot. Many of these had been prompted by the then recent developments such as the acquisition of Iron Source by Unity. Except for Mrs. Zizis, he is the OG. However, for me, these only served as the final nails of a coffin that had been under construction for a long time. Like many people, I also started my game development journey with Unity and Brackies. For about two years, I continued learning and making games with Unity. I had heard about other engines, but I had never given any serious thought to them. My first real exposure to Godot was during a sleepover when one of my good friends proposed to learn an exciting new game engine called Godot. At that time, I thought that the scene and no system in Godot were really cool. I liked its unique structuring a lot, but I thought that splitting my time between Unity and Godot would spread me too thin, so beyond that I did not continue any further with Godot. At one point in the past also, I had started using Linux. My first Linux distribution was Ubuntu. Later on, my daily driver became Manjaro. Now you might be wondering why any of this is relevant in the discussion of why I switched game engines, but I assure you it will make sense later on. Now, one of the main reasons why I switched back from Linux to Windows at that time was Manjaro ending official support for Unity, or perhaps it was the other way around. That was one of my many frustrations with Linux at the time. Frankly, much of them were a result of my lack of knowledge. So. I hopped back over to Windows. But things were not as smooth sailing on the Windows side either. I was having issues with Windows itself as well as with Unity. The most excruciating problem I had with Unity was the license issue. I would have to activate my free Unity license every time I opened Unity Hub. That in itself is painful. I tried opening up a ticket to report the bug but I only got unsatisfactory answers and non-secure solutions, like turning off random hardware access, which from what I know, compromises my online security. Either way, I, along with some others on the forums, thought that it was not a great sign on the part of the Unity team to suggest such solutions rather than addressing the core issue at hand. The most aggravating aspect of this problem was that the license activation required an internet connection and without this activation step, I couldn't use the Unity editor. This had huge implications for me. It meant that I would be totally barred access to Unity when I was offline and I used to be without internet, not infrequently. All this while, I was secretly growing a love for Godot. Its sleek and modern interface was irresistible. The design philosophy was intuitive, it loads lightning fast. Overall, it seemed very manageable and it made me feel like I knew what was going on. This stood in stark contrast to Unity, where I felt like there were just too many things I didn't know. So perhaps it appealed to the control freak in me. But it was much more than that. Around this same period in my life, I had started developing an appreciation for open source. Whereas previously I had used Linux to scorn at Windows users, I had now begun to actually grasp the significance of free software and the philosophy behind it. And what do you know, Godot is open source as well. Moreover, I could be fairly certain that Godot would be supported on Linux because both Godot and Linux share the same philosophical grounds. But I couldn't just jump over to Godot. There were many consequences I had to consider. First of all, what about my two years of experience in Unity? Would those just be two years wasted if I jumped ship now? What about the myriad of features I'd miss out on if I use Godot instead of Unity? And most important of all, how employable would I be in the games industry where many big studios use engines like Unity or Unreal? The answers I gave myself were as follows. Regarding wasted experience, I felt like one of the most important skills in game development, game design, is engine agnostic. So I felt that even if my familiarity with Unity would not transfer over, my experience in design would. In regards to Unity's vast pool of features, I questioned how much of those I really use or would really use. As a matter of fact, I am certain that I will not be exhausting even Godot's features anytime soon. Finally, regarding career prospects, I again thought back to the transferability of design experience. I compared it to learning programming. Once you learn programming in one language, it doesn't take you much time to learn the syntax of another. What's most valuable is your skill and experience in problem solving and design. The hurdles of language can be overcome relatively easily. And that's what I thought I would convince my future employers too. But there is an additional layer of depth to this which I will probably dedicate a future video to. So 
All things considered, I took the plunge, first into Godot and soon after into Linux. So how am I liking it so far? It's been more than a few months since I started using Godot, and I love it for all the reasons that I initially liked it for, and more. One of the things that I've really come to appreciate is the tight-knit community. It feels great to be able to communicate with fellow users and veterans on Discord, and it feels reassuring to know that the developers are close enough to the user base to listen to the community. In the true spirit of open source, Godot feels like a community-driven project. Godot is rapidly evolving. Given enough time, it might become a force to be reckoned with, similar to how Blender and OBS Studio as open source projects rose to prominence in their respective fields. But at the end of the day, for me, it's not so much about competition, but rather about my sincere preference for Godot over Unity. That's all I have for today. I'll leave you with the following quote. Take mistakes not as failure, but as opportunities to learn, to fill the gap in your knowledge. This has been Cupid. I'll see you in the next one.